Well, you guys, today I'm going to show you how to control your RGB lights on your PC. Now, we all know that RGB is very popular. Unfortunately, it comes with a ton of different software that you have to use for different types of RGB that you're using. I'm going to show you a way where you can use just one piece of software to control all of your RGB without going off and downloading all of the RGB software that is required to get it working correctly. And you can end up with a lot of conflicts and a lot of issues trying to get your RGB to work correctly. So what I'm going to show you here is a piece of software that you can use to control all of this with just one bit of software. So first off, what I'm going to do here is going to go through the add and remove programs inside Windows. And I'm going to uninstall all of the uh, software that is required to get my RGB to work properly because it might conflict. So let me go ahead and uninstall all of this stuff. And you can see uh, Aura Sync here, and it's just going to uninstall the Aura service. And this is for RGB. You can see Aura Lighting here for effects and other things like that. There'll be a, quite a bit inside here. Yours might be uh, something to do with other software that you're using to control all of your RGB. So the best thing to do is remove all of this from your computer because this is heavily bloated and it does take up a lot of system resources to control all of your RGB. Now, I know some people don't like, like RGB, but if you do like RGB, then this video is going to be useful for you because a lot of people will understand that you need different types of software to control your RGB. You can see another one here, Corsair IQ, and this will take care of all of that. You won't need to download all of the separate uh, RGB software for each individual uh, RGB component. Now, if you're using, say, a gigabyte motherboard, or you're using, say, for instance, an MSI graphics card, and you're using different RAM that needs different uh, RGB, and then you've got your fans that are using different software, you can find out very quickly that you're going to be downloading tons of different software to get all that RGB working correctly. So let's go ahead and I'll quickly uninstall this and we'll get to the next step. Now there's quite a few different bits of software you can use. I'm going to try this open RGB and see if we can get this working and to control all of the RGB on our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and download this here. And you can see there's a Windows 64-bit version here. So I'm going to download this. But you do have versions for other operating systems here as well. So once we've got this downloaded, we can then click on the executable file to get this working correctly. So I'm going to go off and go to the location where we downloaded it and get this open. So you can see here we've got the actual folder here. So I've got it in a folder and I'm going to run this uh, as administrator and get this opened. And we can then uh, have a play around with it and try to control the RGB on my system. So you should see something looking like this. And you can see here one or more resizable zones have not been configured. Resizable zones are most commonly used for addressable RGB headers. They can go through and get this sorted out and fix it. Uh, if you ignore it, it might not work correctly, but you do need to follow through and get this working correctly. But you can see here uh, Azora addressable one, and it says zone one. So this is to do with the actual motherboard here. And you can give it a size and give it a zone. So let me go ahead and we'll sort this out and we can save this and close it, right? So once you've got that done, uh, you should be able to see your control panel here, which is your devices. We've got Corsair Dominator Platinum uh, memory here, and you can select either one of these and give them a particular color that you want to give them. And we do have that MSI uh, GeForce RTX 2070 Super in there, which is the Gaming X Trio. And you can give these your colors, and there's plenty to choose from. And try to sync them all. If you want them all the same color, you can set them up to having all the same color here. So go through and choose the color of your choice that you'd like to have your uh, RGB set to. And uh, once you get that all set, you can go through each individual one and set the color for it. So you can see here on the middle pane here, we do have that color wheel and color uh, palette at the bottom. So choose one of those. And you can choose these nice little uh, sort of pink color, or you can have some sort of lilac or blue or something like that. I think I'm going to go for a blue in this case because I do like the sort of teal blue color. So I might set this up for a teal blue sort of color here and set this up to something that I like here. Now, once you've got this done, you'll see in the center here, we have the zones LED uh, entire zone and you can select all and it will do the entire zone. You can do uh, mode, which is direct mode, colors, 
per LED, and you can do the speed and the, and also the brightness as well on the, each individual one of these. So depending on how you want to set that up. So I'll quickly go through this in the center here so you can actually see here. So once you've got your color palette set, you can then move on into the center part here. You can see apply to all devices and you can apply colors to a selection. And you can also go into mode here and change this if you wish. And this will be like your rainbow and other things like that. So let me quickly show you here so you get a, a rough idea. So apply to all devices. And then what you can do here is on the actual uh, direct area here, let me just quickly come down and I'll show you that right now. And this just lets you change it to whatever you like here. Once you apply this, you can go into the direct and have it a rainbow, uh, raindrop or lightning or, or whatever you like here. You can change it to whatever you like. There's quite a few to choose from, breathe mode and so on. So once you've got that all done here, uh, you can select whatever you like in here if you want to set it up via that method. So let's go ahead and get this set up so we can show you the end result so you can control all of the RGB. Now, once you've gone individually through all of your actual uh, items for RGB, you can set it up to the same color and do the entire zone and select it on all devices. And it should then give you that color that you required, which was the teal color. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. You can see I've got all the same colors on all of my RGB now, including my graphics card and everything else and the back of the motherboard. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this video helps you out. I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.